Hi, this is John from SysEng Quick, and today I'm going to show you how to add some basic filtering rules to your IP tables firewall. So, so far what we've done is set a default drop policy and allow both loopback traffic and established traffic. But we can't get into this machine or set anything out of this machine right now. So the machine is pretty locked down from a network perspective. I can't ping anything. I can't go to any websites. I can't even create a new session and get back in here. Even though that session is allowed, this session will not be. So we need to add some more rules to allow those things to happen. So let's go ahead and add some rules. To do that, we use the A for append. We're going to go into the input chain. We're going to accept this traffic. Dash P for protocol. I'm going to allow ICMP pings, which is ICMP echo type, which is type 8. And now let's add a few more things, like I would like to allow SSH traffic. So that's protocol TCP, destination port 22. And we also want to allow some outbound traffic. So let's allow outbound traffic. Same thing for ICMP. And let's go ahead and allow SSH traffic. And we want to get to websites, so port 80 and port 443. And we're definitely going to want to use DNS, so we're going to need TC port 53 and UDP port 53. We probably also want NTP traffic, which is port 123, so we're going to allow that. So let's take a look at those rules. I've set up this alias IPT, which just runs this command, sudo IP tables vn line numbers dash l. That way, I don't have to type things in so many times. So we can see there's nothing in any of this traffic right now, but did that help us out? So I couldn't get into there before, can I now? Yes, I can, because we're now allowing that traffic in here. I accept the traffic, it got one packet there, and the rest of it is in our related and established traffic. So, what else can we do? Can we ping something? Yes, we can. Ping is now allowed. I should be able to get to anything I want, so I should be able to ping google.com. And yes, I can. Before I would have done that, we wouldn't have been able to get to google.com because there would be no DNS that allowed that traffic out. But now, I have a rule to allow DNS traffic out. Alright, so that's the basics of how you allow traffic. You need to select your protocol and generally your port because most things would be either TCP or UDP and then you accept the traffic. Next time, we'll cover some more specific rules and some extra things you can do to make your firewall a bit more readable. See you next time.